Did you know that DeWalt came out with a pumpkin carving tool? first frost last night so it's getting chilly in the mornings it's almost we almost got to fire up that wood stove I think it's our last mow of the year we just mowed it's great about having this um, shelter Is that we could leave the pigs in there and I, I know they won't get out uh, while we mow the lawn just kind of clean up the yard My goal for today is welding. Yesterday I thought I would get to get a chance to weld, but I did not. So I cut a hole in that trailer, and now I need to weld it up inside that hole and frame it out. We got more feed yesterday. We're just filling up their feed buckets for the next couple days, few days actually. We soak all their feed. I guess that's why one of the reasons I don't do a giant feeder and just fill up this giant feeder trough and just let them have free choice feed is because we soak the feed. I think it just helps them digest it better. You know, it kind of like ferments their feed. Oh, look at part of my tape measure. The lawnmower did mow it over. This is the big one right here. Stingy one. Eats all the food. Oh yeah. It's almost long john season weather. I'm almost, almost put my long johns on this morning. Almost. I've been airing out this cooler here. Cause it's been smelling like paint still. I need to wait till some of this dries off, some of this dewy wetness on here before I start welding. The most important area of the house is the kitchen table and the most used area of the house uh, because we use it for shipping stuff. We, we conduct meetings here. <laughs> Lorraine's shipping out her Plain Jane Lorraine apothecary. We're shipping out this this week. Lorraine has had her natural skincare line for about eight years now. We have this also in our Etsy shop. Plus, I'm shipping out beanies and bandanas. So if you're looking for that stuff, I'll leave a link down below to our Sow the Land Etsy shop. Clean up my cuts there with the grinder. Just gotta grind it all off. I'm marking where I need to put the vertical pieces. I just like holding up material if I have it. Holding up material, where do you wanna put it? Use some clamps, take the time, and just make sure everything's correct. You know, you got the right measurements. Rather than using a tape measure, if you have the material, just set it all up how you want it. And then you figure out 
how everything's gonna be. You probably could do this with wood instead of welding. Like if you don't have a welder, you could probably just maybe get some one by, or if you had some two by twos, um, you could probably do the same thing. But since I have a welder and I like welding, why not? I haven't welded anything my whole life. You know, just messing around really, but not an actual thing. And then the minute I figure it out of how to weld, I've done like three welding projects in the last month. I mean, people are asking at, at, at HOA, Homesteaders of America, they're asking to do a, a welding workshop. I mean, I don't know, maybe. After this is together, we're gonna mount it and weld it. I need to clean up some of these areas here, get some paint on there. And just to clean the kind of clean up the metal, something that would just be a better weld. I tried. I tried to use that generator that I have, but I don't think it's strong enough. I, I don't know. I, I, I've never used it for that. That's just something I wanted to try. I don't use that generator too often, so or actually hardly ever have ever had to use it. So I just figured, hey, why not try it? But Oh, good old fashioned extension cord. All right, let's try it again. That's it, it's really sturdy. I just tacked in like the bottom here and the top, tacked it into here. You can't really tack into this because this is aluminum, but I might end up maybe caulking inside there and then drilling into this, like some screws. So if you don't want to see me feeding pigs, talking to chickens, talking to pigs, I'm gonna be doing a specific how-to video of this build, so it won't have any of that stuff. But if you like t me talking to pigs and talking to chickens, well then, this video is for you. <laughs> Give the pigs a second feeding today. Hey pigs. You're almost, they're, these pigs are almost clearing, out the, clearing up this fence right here. They're almost above that. Gotta get them, get them back in the shelter. Oh, look at them. They know, they know. They're smart. Come on, get in there, get in there. Get in there, pigs. Hey! Time to hurry up and close the door. <laughs> Hey, pig. At this point, I don't know why they just spill their feed, you know? Like, I don't even know why I bother. I mean, honestly, these girls are ready to go. Like, if we weren't butchering them ourselves, I'd probably take them to the processor this week. Did you know that DeWalt came out with a pumpkin carving tool? 
Today is pumpkin carving night. We just had dinner. We're about to have tea and some donuts. These are homemade donuts also. Lorraine's got a little pumpkin, she's just painting? Yeah, I'm just using a Sharpie marker. Whoa, Penelope's already started? Yeah. I like to find the flat part first. And that's usually the part I like to go on. No templates, I just like to freeform it. Save those for the pigs. <laughs> what kind of tea is this? Decaf chai tea. Mm. From farmhouse teas. Well, Mom's busting out the glue, <laughs> and the puff balls. And the puff balls. Yeah, Penelope, you got this. Oh, glue sticks now? Yeah, we found the oh, glue man. and the glue sticks. Now we're, it's about to get real. We are serious crafters when we get into it. <laughs> <laughs> we, can't, we can't just do basic stuff. I'm doing eyelashes. Eyelashes on the pumpkin? Yeah. All right. The pumpkin teeth need batteries. What is that, Penelope? An arm. An arm? Yeah. Let's see, Penelope, you got pumpkin teeth, it looks good, you got a hat. Let's see, Lorraine's, oh! What is it, a queen? It's Queen Esther. <laughs> <laughs> With glasses. <laughs> With glasses. Wow, Penelope, you're just blowing. <laughs> 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 oh. Oh. Whoa! Yeah. Oh, look at that. There we go. Man, you're just bright, Penelope. <laughs> ah. 